Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how to implement a recycler view. In this particular video, we will see usage of various layout managers in Android application. Android provides three kinds of layout managers, linear layout manager, grid layout manager and staggered grid layout manager. And we will just observe what is the very basic functionality of these layout managers when used with recycler view. We will be using the code from the previous demo and we will basically start with the linear layout manager and as you can observe I am applying the linear layout manager to the recycler view. As of now I have just passed a context to the linear layout manager constructor and let me run this and see what happens and this is something that you had already seen in the previous video. Linear layout manager also has various parameterized constructors to change some of the behavior. In this case I am passing the context but then I am also passing the orientation and whether I want it to be reversed or not. That is third argument boolean value. Let us run this and see the behavior. As you can observe now you can scroll it horizontally. I will change the orientation to vertical and the value of reverse layout to true and let me rerun this. The major difference that you will observe now is the first element at the bottom of the recycler view and then you will see all the remaining elements at the top of the recycler view. Basically the elements got reversed. We will now move on to grid layout manager and once again the grid layout manager constructor takes two arguments. The first argument is the context which in this case the activity this and the second argument is the span. Span is number of views that you want to have either in horizontal or vertical order. The value that I have set is 2. So when I run this you will observe that there are two items vertically and then I can scroll them vertically because by default the orientation is vertical. If you want to modify this default behavior what you can do is give the orientation explicitly that is grid layout manager dot horizontal and then the last argument is false so I don't want to reverse it and let me run this and now you will observe that there are only two views horizontally the span is two and you can scroll them horizontally. Let me revert it back to vertical orientation and then I want to show you something called as span size lookup. As you can see that we have right now set the span size as 2. But what if we want to modify this particular span size based on certain criteria? That can be accomplished by setting the span size lookup object. You can observe that I am creating an instance of span size lookup and then override the method called as get span size and inside the get span size I divide the position by 3 and check what is the reminder and if the reminder is equal to 0 then I want to keep the span size as 2 otherwise 1 and now after this if I run the application you will observe that depending upon what get span size evaluates to the number of elements in a particular row could be either 1 or 2 that is the span size could be either 2 or 1. We will now move on to staggered grid layout. Staggered grid layout is a slightly enhanced version of normal grid layout. In this case once again we pass arguments like span count and the orientation and only difference is in case of grid layout all the views will be of same size but in the staggered grid layout there is a possibility that each views could be of different size. Right now in this case you won't see that particular behavior but it is quite possible that each individual views in the staggered grid layout could be of different size. And this is how the layout managers of Android will separate the implementation of the laying out of the views from recycle view adapter. In the next video, we will see a little bit more information on recycler view. Stay tuned. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.